gonna take it slow And we gon' make it out this hole And ain't nobody stopping us, no So watch me as I go, watch me as I grow And we ain't gonna take it slow And we gon' make it out this hole And ain't nobody stopping us, no So watch me as I go, watch me as I grow Yeah, I'm the fucking show Welcome everybody to Monday Night Raw, I hope you all are having a great day so far. Today we have another action-packed episode. Ronda Rousey is in action in tonight's women's main event. And we also have another match before that, another sold-out crowd. We are here in Ohio, let's get Raw underway now. Raw with what I thought was originally going to be tonight's main event, but it'll be kicking off this episode of Raw. It'll be Rowdy Ronda Rousey accompanied to the ring by her advocate, Paul Heyman. She will be in action once again. But tonight's main event, I am being informed now, will be the United States Championship match between Dolph Ziggler and Rusev. Again, Rusev won that fatal four-way at Hell in a Cell to get the opportunity. And then, of course, Ziggler retained his U.S. title against Stone Cold Steve Austin in Hell in a Cell's co-main event so that matchup will be closing out the episode of Raw but Rousey in action once again let's find out who the Raw Women's Champion will be facing tonight last week she had a match of the year candidate with ba Bailey, and now she is going to be taking on the Queen Charlotte Flair definitely going to be an interesting matchup we haven't seen Charlotte too much this year this might actually be the first time we are seeing the Queen back here on Raw. So in a way, it is a return for Charlotte Flair. And Flair versus Rousey will be an interesting matchup nonetheless. Both women look to be ready to go. Rings the bell. Let's go in a big form from Flair right off the bat. Wasting no time. Going right after the Raw Women's Champion. Kick to the leg. Both women coming out here, guns a blazing. And now the slaps and Ronda blocks it, kick to the leg of Charlotte. And a big right hand. Flair in trouble. Rousey with the duck under and then a shoulder tackle takes Charlotte down quickly. And if you guys missed last week's episode of Raw and Ronda's match against Bailey. Definitely match of the year candidate. I already have that on my list of top matches for the end of the year awards as Charlotte gets a reversal. Big elbow to the face. Charlotte with a splash in the corner, but Ronda moves out of the way just in time. Goes for a kick to the midsection, but Ronda saw it coming. Shoulder tackle takes Flair down once again. This crowd going crazy already. The making of a great matchup to start off Monday Night Raw. You can see Paul Heyman on the top left hand side of your screen cheering on his advocate Rowdy Ronda Rousey. She starts to dominate Charlotte outside of the ring now. Goes for a kick. Charlotte saw it coming. Kick to the midsection of her own twice. Tries to get back in but Rousey with a flurry of lefts and rights. Driven. Rib first into the barricade. Hits the Rollins champion into the apron with a nice drop kick. Now, the trash talking and the gloating. It might have just cost Charlotte that moment of, well not re relaxation so to speak, but a moment to catch her breath. And a kick to the leg of Rousey, big forearm takes the champ down, Charlotte into the cover, one and no, Ronda powers out quickly. And both women going toe to toe, they've been pretty even throughout the matchup. Arm drag takedown of the champion, forearm to the face again, goes for some chops, and Ronda comes back with one of her own, picks up Flair, 
Going for the Rousey Buster. Charlotte in trouble. One. Two. And no, she kicks out at the last possible second. Rousey thought she had the match won. Again, if she remembers the matchup she had with Bailey last week. The women here on Raw do not give up so easily, but Flair in a predicament into the armbar, but no. That's where Charlotte Flair's height just saved that matchup. A rope break. That match is about to be over with the armbar locked in. One, two, and no. Flair gets the shoulder up again. Again, these women here on Raw putting on a clinic trying to take down the undefeated Raw Women's Champion Rowdy Ronda Rousey. All proving why they deserve a chance at her title in the future. Rousey going up top. This is not good for Flair. Charlotte in trouble. Going for the splash. See Paul Heyman's reaction to the top rope maneuver. Rousey with the cover again. One, two. And Charlotte kicks out again. Another near fall for Rousey. Stomp to the arm. Goes for a cross face on Charlotte. Trying to hold on for dear life. And the cross face locked in middle of the ring. Nowhere for Charlotte to go. She's trying to hold on and maybe power out. And she's able to turn around and she gets out of it. Elbow to the face of the Raw Women's Champion. Goes for another one but misses. Rousey takes advantage. Charlotte into the corner. Catches the kick. Goes for the spear. You can see Paul Heyman now distracting the referee as Charlotte goes for the cover. And Heyman playing a role in this matchup now distracting Charlotte as Rousey gets to her feet. Oh, and a T-bone suplex launching Charlotte all the way across the ring. Paul Heyman hasn't had to interfere in that many matches on Rousey's behalf, but that time that one definitely made a difference. Turning the tide of this matchup. Another cross face on Charlotte. Ronda trying to win with another submission. Charlotte could probably reach the rope, but she doesn't want to lose any positional leverage that she has right now as she holds on. Taking a beating from this submission maneuver. Has it locked in Rousey trying to win this matchup and she forces the Queen to tap out. And doesn't make her opponent tap with the arm bar, but just the modified cross face does the trick. Another great matchup for Rousey. Flair in I guess her return match to Raw and first appearance of 2K19. Flair falls short, but does have a pretty good showing. But Rousey, another victory in a non-title matchup. Had the armbar locked in early, but Flair got lucky with that rope break. Rousey nearly won with a splash off the top rope. But Charlotte was able to get out of it. Hit the spear, could have won after that. But Heyman played a role in this matchup and helping Rousey end up winning this match to start off Raw. But now we will close the show with a United States Championship match between Rusev and the show-off Dolph Ziggler. For tonight's main event, and of course said a few times already, it is going to be for the United States Championship. Rusev won that fatal four-way at Hell in a Cell to gain this opportunity, and he is looking to make it a happy Rusev day for sure. Got a big win in that fatal four-way matchup. It was himself, Xavier Woods of the New Day. Alexander Wolf of Sanity and Jason Jordan, the Bulgarian group, came out on top. Got a submission victory in the process and now looking to become United States Champion here in Universe Mode once again. I would be, I believe that if he were to win, he would be a three-time United States Champion. And the last time he was champ was all the way back in 2K17. He had a feud with the big dog Roman Reigns over the title and Curtis Axel, all that stuff. So a couple, or a year or two ago, I don't think he had the title. He might have had the title at the beginning of last year, actually. 
but either way, Rusev looking to become United States Champion once again in his Universe Mode career. So let's get that current champ to show off, Dolph Ziggler, most likely accompanied to the ring by Drew McIntyre, so Rusev definitely needs to be a bit careful with the Scottish Terminator, Drew McIntyre, in Dolph's corner. But Rusev does not back down from a challenge one bit. So we'll see how this matchup plays out. Ziggler looking very, very confident after defeating Stone Cold Steve Austin. Not once, but twice. Had a great matchup with him at SummerSlam. And then a rather fast matchup last week at Hell in a Cell. And I almost forgot to mention that Ziggler and McIntyre are the new Raw Tag Team Champions as well. So they will be defending their title against the Revival very soon. We have a lot of stuff going on over the next couple weeks and months. But the Revival will get their tag title rematch at some point. But the United States Championship on the line. Rusev versus Dolph Ziggler close out this episode of Raw. It's going to be an interesting matchup for sure. Rusev wasting no time, just charging right at the champ. A kick to the back. The crowd chanting Rusev Day, surprisingly getting behind the Bulgarian brute. Scoop slam there by Ziggler into the cover and Rusev kicks out before the referee could get even down to count one. Rusev sent him to the corner, splash by the show-off. Turns Rusev over. Going right after the leg if he could take down the base of Bulgarian Brute. Ziggler will be at a major advantage. Goes for a cross face. But Rusev finds his way out of it. Big right hand takes the US champ down with an arm drag. Big right hand. Rusev trying to maintain control and a big right to the face and a leaping elbow strike by the United States Champion kick to the lower back of Rusev. Ziggler dragging him away from the ropes going for another early cover one and Rusev kicks out quickly. A drop kick right to the back. Rusev in a bit of trouble here. Kick to the leg. Sends Rusev into the corner. Ziggler goes for the splash, but nobody home. Rusev now looking to take advantage of that missed move by the champion. Ziggler face first into the turnbuckle. Now with a reversal. And once again, another reversal. Rusev just driving the foot right into the jaw and the chin of Ziggler. Uh oh, Dolph in trouble. Let's him just drop back first onto the mat. Ziggler showing off his leg strength there, pushes Rusev down into another cover, but the Bulgarian Brute kicks out once again. The crowd getting behind both men surprisingly, and Rusev with the right hand, and hits him with a Machka kick right to the face. Rusev looking to become United States Champion again, gets the accolade firmly locked in. Bono decides break the hold for some odd reason, I don't know, goes for a cover instead, Rusev may end up regretting that in the end, one, two, and now Ziggler gets the shoulder up just in time, Rusev might have just cost himself this matchup, had the accolade locked in, now looking to do more damage, going after the shoulder and the neck of Ziggler. Goes for a headbutt. Ziggler had a feeling it was coming. Tossed the elbow back. Goes for a famous. So Rusev now in trouble. Ziggler looking for a zigzag to put him away. Rusev to his feet. And Ziggler hits it into the cover. One. Two. No, Rusev. Rusev is not giving up quite yet. Ziggler, as well as myself, we're just kind of shocked there. We thought Ziggler had the victory. But again, resiliency is definitely something all Raw superstars and every superstar here in Universe Mode has. We do not give up without a fight, but 
Look, Rusev just clutching his left knee. Definitely not good. We don't need more injuries here in Universe Mode. And really quick as this matchup continues, I do want to update you guys on the condition of former Universal Champion Dean Ambrose. He is suffering from a minor injury following his Hell in a Cell match against Elias as Rusev just power bombs Ziggler right out of the ring. But quickly back to the Dean Ambrose situation. I think that one spot might have happened on top of the cell. But Ambrose is suffering from some back spasms and a couple other minor injuries. So we won't be seeing Ambrose around too much over the next couple weeks. Like if anything, he might just be doing managerial duty for Reigns and or Rollins in their matches. And a Uranagi slam by Rusev. So former Universal Champion Dean Ambrose going to be out of action for a couple weeks and Ziggler turns that move around now trying to put Ziggler, or Ziggler trying to put Rusev away now hits the elbow drop on the chest so again injuries continue to come in every so often here in universe mode just the thing with this business people get injured but we will see Ambrose back hopefully sooner rather than later but this United States Championship matchup continues as Ziggler is driven ribcage first into the corner of the barricade. Uh, count of four by the referee. Count of five. Ziggler now in trouble. Oh, just slams him chest first into the apron. Gets back in at the count of seven. Rusev being relentless here. Ziggler trying to fight back now too. Kicks to the leg. Float over. DDT spiking Rusev head first into the mat. Into the cover. One. Two. And Rusev again kicks out. He's definitely stunned there for the moment. Gets out of the way of the drop kick. Goes for a clothesline. Doesn't fully connect. But Ziggler still collapses anyway. Now US champ with a jawbreaker goes for another drop kick and Rusev gets out of the way and just picks him up. Tosses Dolph into the ropes. Catches him by the arm. Big right hand to the midsection and a second and a third. Ziggler breaks the hold. He's going for another famous serve, but Rusev caught him went right into a power bomb. And stops him back going for the accolade again. Ziggler in trouble. Ziggler in trouble. Accolade locked in and we have a new United States champion. Rusev forces Ziggler to tap out. He still has the clutch locked in. Now lets him out. Rusev becoming a three-time United States champion here in Universe Mode. What a matchup. Rusev had Ziggler's number this entire time. And we have a title change to end Monday Night Raw. What a matchup. Again, the show off put up a fight. But the Bulgarian route was too zoned in and focused. Took advantage of several opportunities that were missed by Dolph. And now Rusev is once again United States champion. Definitely a happy Rusev day for Rusev and any Rusev fans out there. But again, he had that zigzag, or the famous, or rather, scouted. Turned it into a power bomb and took advantage. Rusev is United States champion again. You can see Drew McIntyre yelling at Ziggler, who's now laid out on the floor outside of the ring. Rusev is United States champion. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Raw, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And we'll see everybody on SmackDown Live tomorrow.